and more spirit takes over coming past the wire. It will be more spirit to win the Los Alamitos Futurity by a length and a half. This is just an unbelievable day for Bob Baffert and Mike Smith. They are unstoppable. More spirit has dominated the Met Mile. He won it by seven lengths. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Spa Babies, presented by Spendthrift. I'm Dan Ullman. Let's take a look at the field for Thursday's Spa Baby race, kicking off the 50-cent late pick five with race number six, going five and a half furlongs on the turf. It's a maiden special weight for New York bred Spendthrift, represented by the seven Dolfusky Island, entered main track only. That colt is by Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner, Golden Sense. Taking a peek at the field, we'll begin with the number one, Boromon. Long series of workouts since early May for trainer Rudy Rodriguez and a nice combination of turf over speed in the pedigree. The stallion, Freud, does very, very well on turf. I believe a full brother to Giants Causeway and has been a stalwart stallion in New York for many years now. The dam was a juvenile stakes place dirt sprinter. Boromon is not only a half-brother to stakes winning dirt router Fog Alert, but also to juvenile stakes place synthetic sprinter looking for Josie. So there is some precocity in this pedigree. This one will have to break alertly from the inside post lest he be victim of an early shuffle. The two is disengaged, trying turf for the first time for trainer Michelle Nevin. He's run well three times on dirt. Two starts back in against Witt, who came back for Todd Pletcher and just dominated the competition in a graded stakes race at Saratoga earlier in the meet. And last time out, disengaged caught a muddy track, so there were excuses there. This one is by Courageous Cat, a good turf runner in his day, but only 4% winners with first turf runners. The damn, a very salty horse won 15 races, over $480,000 in lifetime earnings. I wish there was a little bit more turf on the bottom of this pedigree, but Disengage has experience, and if he could transfer his dirt form to turf, he could be a handful in here, 5-2 to two on the morning line. The three is Red Rock Bay, a son of Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner California Chrome. Lots of folks forget, however, that California Chrome was also a grade one stakes winner on the turf. He's gotten off to a slow start with his first turf runners, only 3% winners. The dam, though, a juvenile stakes place dirt sprinter, adds a little precocity to this pedigree, some dirt and synthetic ability underneath as well. The dam also a half to the grade three place dirt sprinter Richie Richie Rich. Maybe a little bit more distance down the road for the son of California Chrome, but again, the dam adds a little precocity to the pedigree. The four is Open Till Midnight. Open Till Midnight is by First Crop Stallion Midnight Storm, who was good on dirt, who was good on turf, had speed in middle distances, and he's gotten off to a good start with his first crop two-year-olds. This one sold for 6000 as a short yearling, up to 47000 as a yearling, down to 30000 as a two-year-old after breezing 10 and 3 in that juvenile auction. Uh, looking at this pedigree, there are some turf here. The dam placed a couple of times on turf. This dam has also thrown a two-year-old winner. A little bit of a gap between the last two workouts. Uh, Jimmy Ryerson, though, can pop with a first-time starter. He sent out some live horses at this meet, and there is turf in this pedigree. Interesting combination here of speed on top with a little stamina as well. No time alone is a filly taking on the boys, as we've said many times on Spa Babies. Not really worried about that this time of year with two-year-olds. No time alone. Favorite at 7 to 5 on the morning line based on this race against Phillies on July the 5th. This is her turf debut in her second lifetime start. She showed good speed. She's very, very late to change leads, but she's eventually going to get up for second. She is a half to a stakes place dirt router. She is by an excellent turf stallion in Flincher. The dam won three turf races. And the fact that she showed speed. Very good sign in these sort of races. Turf sprints often won in the opening furlong. Chief Engineer is the number six. This horse is trying turf for the first time. This one is by Midshipman. 13% winners with first turf runners. The Dam was a sprint winner at two, and the Dam is a full sister to a stakes place dirt sprinter named Analyze This and That, who was also trained by Russell Cash and also won on turf as a two-year-old in his third lifetime start, moving from dirt to turf. So there are some angles here. I like that this horse showed improved speed in his second lifetime start at Monmouth. I think he is slowly figuring out the game. I do think he is going to appreciate switching to the turf. Tefusky Island entered main track only. We'll move on to the eight, Butterloo. This is a son of Super Estrella by Stormcat, a well-bred horse didn't do much on the racetrack. He won a couple of turf routes, albeit in claiming races. Limited data available on Super Estrella 
as a stallion. The dam was a juvenile stakes place dirt miler. She won on turf as well. The dam is a half to Empire Dreams, a multiple stakes winner on dirt and a very, very good New Yorker. I believe you won the Empire Classic as well. The dam also a half to Dynamax Prime, a multiple stakes place dirt router. This barn does good work. Uh, from limited opportunities, long string of workouts leading up to the debut, gets an aggressive rider in Louis Saez. I do wonder if maybe this colt will want more distance down the road. Completing the field is the number nine, Edadromos, and this horse is very well bred for sprinting on the turf. Contharos, not only 17% with juvenile debut runners and 15% with first turf, but also 15% with turf sprinters. The dam was fast. A juvenile stakes winning dirt sprinter, Edadromos shows a bullet workout at Fair Hill, from the gate on July the 22nd. I think the source is going to show a little bit of speed. He's going to be a price, and although you see in your racing form that this barn is 0 for 7 this year, they've sent out some live runners at prices in this past, especially first time out. I'm expecting some speed from Eridromos. Taking a look at my top pick for the Thursday Spa Baby Race presented by Spenthra. I think no time alone speed's going to make her dangerous in here. I'm not necessarily sure I want to take a very short price on her. I'll stab a bit with the four open till midnight. The first time starter by the promising first crop sire, Midnight Storm, breezed up Pizzaratoga on August the 1st. No time alone. Dangerous in here. Chief engineer, of course, perhaps, to pick up some pieces. And keep an eye on Eridromos. Watch the board in this race. You've got some low-profile connections. If there is some significant action on the tote, you might want to take notice. Four, five, nine, six for me in the Thursday Spa Baby Race and our coverage all meet long, presented by Spendthrift.